Welcome to the boob tube and welcome to my office where all the magic happens right there. I get to review all your thermograms and report back what works and doesn't work with medical evidence. Now, breast thermography evaluates the health of your breast. So if a product works, then your breast thermogram should prove it. And today I'm gonna to discuss with medical evidence, breast thermograms, and physiology, why AIs or Armitase inhibitors are ineffective. My name is Dr. Wendy Sellens. I am a breast thermographer researcher, and I am protege to William Hobbins, MD. He treated breast cancer alternatively for 50 years without using chemotherapy or radiation. And he is also a surgeon, just so you know. For the last seven years, I've been the breast thermography interpreter at one of the premier alternative cancer centers and one that was featured in the documentary, Truth About Cancer. So I'm exposed to a large amount of breast cancers monthly, and more importantly, with the use of breast thermography, I'm able to determine what breast cancer treatments are effective. So this is one case study of AIs. This 63-year-old woman presented with estrogen receptor positive invasive ductal carcinoma of the right breast, which you can see in the top image. She was actually currently using AIs. And if you are using AIs, supposedly, because it's blocking estrogen, it should, the breast should appear non-vascular. In order to determine if the AIs were effective for this patient, I had her return in three months. In just three short months, we can see that her thermogram has changed. In breast thermography, I am monitoring the blood vessels, looking for patterns in them. As we can see in the top half of her breast, she has developed a new pattern, which is called a closed loop vascular completeness, looks like a circle. You can see this in the bottom image. In addition, she has developed a second one that encircles the right nipple. This is considered thermographically significant, and the thermogram is deemed severely abnormal. It appears the carcinoma is unres unresponsive to AIs, and she may have possible neoangiogenesis, which could cause the cancer to spread. If you want to fight a disease or cure a disease, it is imperative to understand how the body works. That is why I spend so much time educating women on physiology. Eighty percent of breast cancers are fed by estrogen. That's why I'm also a hormone researcher because I'm able to evaluate your hormones in your thermogram. So now I'm going to walk you through how hormones work because when you understand how they work then we can decrease our risk of breast cancer. So think of your hormones as a fork. Here's the handle. The handle or the precursor of all our hormones is healthy cholesterol. That's why I'm always stressing eating healthy cholesterol. You have three times, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. They cannot change or biosynthesize into each other. They cannot. Let me repeat that. It's imperative to understand that these in the body naturally cannot change into the other, okay? So that is the false claim that this drug is saying. It says that testosterone can biosynthesize into estrogen. Now, Dr. Hobbins treated breast cancer with high levels of testosterone. That is called antagonistic endocrine therapy. And it's done actually quite often. For men with prostate cancer, they use high levels of estrogen. 
So what Dr. Hobbins did was the opposite. For breast cancer, he used high levels of testosterone. Okay, so you may not believe me yet. All right, let me take it a step further. Transgender therapy. What happens when you want to go from a woman to a man? You want to shrink your breasts. So you use high levels of testosterone. Testosterone is beneficial to the breasts. So it is true, in a um, clinic or in a, a petri dish, you can change testosterone into estrogen. Yes, absolutely. Scientists can do that. But we're saying that is not possible in the human body. And Dr. Hobbins has proven this by treating breast cancer with testosterone. And transgender therapy also supports this theory. So there you have it. In 10 years of breast thermography, I have not been able to prove that AIs are effective or work, and Dr. Hobbins hasn't been able to either. If we were able to prove with thermography that this um, product or pharmaceutical work, we would have included it in our book. And as always, for more research, make sure you read our book. All proceeds go to our nonprofit to educate more of you.